Welcome to the journey. Last week there was a day that I really felt, as they say, the blues. I felt down and I felt sad. And in conversation with others, I picked up that I was not the only one that was struggling. Maybe the fact that the lockdown had been extended finally hit home. If you are having days at the moment when you are feeling sad and down, that is not at all surprising. In fact, it is very normal because that's the response that we have to the abnormal situation that we find ourselves in. Many people are having days when they feel demotivated, down, frustrated and just sad. You might be finding it difficult to get to sleep. You may be waking up in the night. You may find it difficult to get out of bed in the mornings. You might find yourself eating more or even less than you usually do. You might feel tearful or even extra sensitive. Feeling depressed or down is part of a normal grieving process. And I think that we are grieving at the moment. We are grieving contact with loved ones. We are grieving events that we look forward to that have been postponed or maybe even cancelled. We are grieving a sense of uncertainty about the future because we simply don't know what will come in the next couple of weeks. And so some days are harder than others. There may be days on which there would have been an event, for example, a celebration that has been cancelled or postponed. Maybe it was your birthday or that of a loved one and you couldn't celebrate. On those difficult days, we find ourselves feeling blue and unable to focus and get things done. And so friends, I want to invite you to be compassionate with yourself. It's okay on those difficult days not to get everything done as you would have planned or hoped. We may need to just curl up in front of the TV or go and sleep. Take the pressure off and give yourself permission to have a break. Exercise can help. Even if that means skipping or jogging on the spot or going up and down the stairs for 20 minutes. Exercise increases endorphins in the brain and can help us to quite quickly lift from a blue mood. Reaching out to others can also help. You don't need to pretend that everything is okay all the time. Phone a good friend and say, I'm having a really tough time. Can I talk? And this will help you feel less isolated and may even mean that the next time they feel blue or down or sad, they too would be able to reach out to you. Do something creative that can also help to shift a blue mood. Whether that is planting something in the garden or baking something or doing something with your hands, drawing or writing or sewing, whatever it is that you would find helpful. Also talk to God about your blue moods. Tell God that you are struggling and ask for the grace that you need to get through the day. Take it one day at a time and if necessary, one hour at a time. If you find that the sadness is increasing and that every day becomes difficult, you should consider talking to a trained listener. If you are feeling overwhelmed by sadness, don't wait to get help and support. This is especially the case if depression is something that you struggle with. Psychologists and social workers are essential services and they can meet you online if you want to talk. You could phone one or another of the free helplines offered by the South African Depression and Anxiety Group 
their helpline is open 24 hours a day. If you want a spiritual director, call the Jesuit Institute. This is really a difficult time. Whether you're battling with some blue days or feeling depressed, be compassionate with yourself. Don't be afraid to own it and get the help you need. And that help may just simply be talking to a good friend.